We just finished setting up our bedding. Here's how it all went down. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the 30 day van build. It is officially day 24 and we are, you would think we would be doing something else, but we're gonna be putting it in the bed today. As some of you know, we have been waiting on our windows that have been back ordered and we got one in, but for some reason the other ones are still back ordered even farther. So like our dates just keep getting pushed and at this point we just can't wait anymore and we need to move forward with the other parts of the build as much as we can even though it's going to make our job harder in the future because now instead of just putting in windows in like open space we're going to have to crawl on top of the bed and put the windows in which is kind of annoying but what are you going to do you know make sure you guys subscribe and turn those notifications on we have new van build videos every single sunday and we have seven days left of this build so i think we gotta just <laughs> get right to work because there's a lot to get done i'm having the time of my life Earlier this morning, we went on our typical Home Depot run, picked up all the supplies we need for the framing, spent another arm and a leg. Every time we say like, oh, this is the last big order at Home Depot, then we're good. All we have is the paneling. We go and we spend another $300. So I'm not really sure how this keeps working out, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna get right to it. Basically putting our two by four runners across and this way so we could um, make a little under cabinet here. We also have to make a little frame over here because from that side it's gonna be two drawers that you could pull out that way which will also help secure this water tank like we said we would do in the plumbing video. First up, we are going to go ahead and put the two by fours. Jason, do you think this is a one dayer? Like, like we always say I think it is? It's already noon. It, it's literally, we are just starting and it's time for lunch. Perfect, we need to make another run to Home Depot anyways. No, 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 this is unbelievable. So let's play this out. Let's play it out. This is the other, th okay, this is the other reason, guys. This is the other reason it takes us six days to do a three-day project, because Jason plays out how the project is going to be built. I plan stuff you instead plan of just doing stuff, stuff out of my... four times, four times okay. before just you know what? in the woods you know what? and get into it. You know what? Find somebody else to build a van. I don't need to build a van. We had this, uh... This 2x4 left and I guess we already cut it for this before and we don't even remember because it's uh, like a perfect fit for this last little slot here. We're gonna need to put a little uh, rubber things here. I keep hitting my head. This is just the beginning of I know. Since everybody thinks I do absolutely nothing on the van. You did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because Jason doesn't pick up the camera and video me. Also, I'm the brains of the operation. The brains? Yes. Ah, my finger! Three hours later, we got a <laughs> we got one piece in. All right, time for lunch. Graduated, I'm so glad you made it, cause we got all that we wanted. Couldn't hate if they wanted to. We live it without a limit. Yeah, we do what we wanna do now. Throw your hands up one time. They think that we lost our mind. All of the two by fours are in. We did two by fours here as well. Since our bed is not the full width of the van, we got this one by six finger joint nice and white. And we made it perfect so that way we're gonna nail it in there. And that way we'll have two uh, white strips on the side to put like, I don't know, more blankets. These little white runners are perfect for putting books, candy, your pajamas. I don't pajamas? know. Uh, pillows. Hello. A bunch of stuff we could stick down there. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna nail this guy down here now. Wait, you, you have to. You have to... <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Everything is going alright. Hey, and our nice little uh, sidewall is done. So where we are now is we are trying to create the little boxy box area for where our two doors are gonna be. So like right here. But obviously for that to work, you need to have 
something to mount your tracks on to so that way you have drawers that actually roll not just like sink in so what we're doing is figuring out the frame and how we want to make it we just got some lunch and we're back to this contraption now here it's like almost three o'clock and we're fairly certain that we might not finish today but if we kick it into high gear we just might get it done i don't know we're gonna see on how sluggish we become after we just ate some fattening food we gotta figure out where this is gonna be that it's not going to hit the hinges which means that's gonna it has to go out this way where is it something like that so that way two by three is supporting this and then our runners what a clamp for? are into here. Oh. Uh, clamp. I got a clamp. I got a clamp. Watch your little fingers. Drop on my head. That should be enough clearance. We we swapped up the uh, the idea here. We like two by threes better for the side support with the water tank. We did some pocket holes there, and then we're just gonna we put a spacer of a quarter inch in the back to give the uh, tank a little bit of breathing room. And now we're just gonna put it down to the floor. Like so. Like so. Shake it, give it a shaky shake. Sure, oh sure. yeah, that's gonna hold the water. All right, so that one side's more. good. Another one? One more. And then he wonders why we run out of screws. I won't have to worry about this water been coming out of here, I'll tell you what. Nice. We can't wait to put these windows in too because it's pretty warm in here. I think the wool is really uh keeping in the temperature, which is really good in the cold. And, but uh, I think it's just too hot in Florida. I don't know. Jason just did make, wait, what? Jason made an observation just now. I'm saying how hot it is now, but then I'm saying too cold. It's because I, I think it was last episode two that was cold. No? Um, I was wearing a jacket, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. It's because we got a cold front, okay, people? It was cold then, now it's hot again. That's just the way Florida works. Okay, so on this side, since we did the uh, two by three inside, we pocket hold. Our centerpiece is where the, where the hinges are going to go. This guy is going to be mounted on top like that. The little boxy box is pretty nice here. And watching Jason hop over these uh, two by fours over and over again is priceless. Contraption number one. Send it. One down. Three to go. That's your 30. Yeah, go ahead. Break it. Jason, for real. Stop I'm it. Testing it out, Bianca. It works great. All right, let's do this bottom one now. Getting close here have pretty much no yeah we do have all of the skeleton we got the two side pieces we got our framing for our uh, under bed drawers and then we have our framing for these pull out drawers here we only have about an hour of sunlight left so of course this is not another day project we are literally i probably think the slowest van builders in the land building a van in 30 days is slow i don't know at this rate i don't think right. Like, like a seal. <laughs> At this rate, I don't think we're gonna get it done in 30 days. Like, we're really. What, 31? Okay, yeah, but it's called the 30 day van build, so the whole point is to get it done in 30 days. And this guy's over here. Tonight. Huh? We're not sleeping tonight. We're oh, no. De definitely, we're almost done here. It's about to be nighttime. I think what we're gonna do is we are going to make the boxes for those two, uh, those two drawers. So that way, if we make the boxes and we polycrylic them, they could dry and then, you know, we could put them in with the face. Oh my gosh. The, that's the last two face plates we have to do. The last two. Old man over there. The last two face plates. What'd you call? What? The last two face plates, Jason. Yay! Yay! And then we could put a, a little bed in there. A little bed. Una camita. Una camita. I think my point in this was that we're just gonna make the drawers. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, where we'll finish, hopefully. Okay, bye! And we're back! Last night, we finished putting together the drawers. We worked into the night, had to put out a flashlight and everything, but we got them constructed. I just finished painting them this morning with polycrylic, so that way they'll be ready to go in a few minutes. And then along with that, Jason has been creating the front face plates for the two drawers, 
You know, we've been really busy at work this morning because we only have a half a day today. I mean, you guys know how our scheduling goes. Who knows if we're gonna finish, but we only have till like two-ish. So it's a half day today and we are going to really work to get this stuff down. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn those notifications on for new van build videos every single Sunday. We are almost done with this build. You're gonna wanna be here when we're all finished with it so you can see the final result. Let me catch you up. Jason is uh, really, really on it today, this morning. I'm super proud so far. I helped him measure these and then he cut them all by himself and he put them together by himself. It didn't even take him all day long. It only took him less than an hour, so up I top. I made like eight cuts. I know. You made more cuts in an hour than we did all day yesterday without me. Maybe it's me that slowed you down. I just, I get, I get. You figured it out now, huh? I get here and then you just don't want to work. So this is, this is a uh, drawer number one. They're pretty nice size. As we were making the measurements again, we were like, oh wait, these are small. And then we put them together and they're pretty big again. So uh, note to self, drawers tend to be bigger than the measurements seem. Every time we make drawers, we think they're gonna be small and then they turn out to be huge. In our other van, we made drawers and they are literally like monster drawers. We also got one really good piece of news yesterday. You wanna see what we got in? Oh, finally got our big window in. So now we are just missing one window. So we still can't do the ones over the bed before we put the bed in, unfortunately. But at least we could do our little benchy bench area. What do you think we should call that little like nook? The ultimate van nook? The best van dining room area. I don't know. You'll see what I title it next week. I'm done, what's next? All right, so while those dry, we have to do the drawer slides, you know? Oh. I know, the last two. For the drawer slides on these two guys, we went bigger than we did on the kitchen. These are 20 inches. I'm a boss, yeah, I'm alive, yeah, I'm alive, say ooh la la. Quite the jungle gym going on in here right now. Hey, made it. I'm a rocket. Putting our little Craig guys to use one more time. It's really a special feature of mine that I somehow call everything by the wrong name. That's a big drawer. Moment of truth. Will this work? Sounds out. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Hey, problem solved. How we solved it, you will never know. These got put together a lot smoother than the rest of them, so I think we're getting better. Heyo! We've got our little drawers. Moving right along, we got like three hours left. <laughs> I think. <laughs> run, Jason, run! We're gonna paint the face plates so that way, while those dry, we can cut the top of our bed. And this guy is gonna be a stationary piece cut out square and drilled in so it could be removable if needed to access uh, the water pump stuff from the top. This will be a flip up drawer and this will be a flip up drawer as well. Not drawer, um, like just opening. Basically what we'll end up doing in the future is putting ply on the bottom of this two by four. So then you have like a three and a half inch like little compartment. We love the idea of a little storage space under the mattress. It doesn't seem like a lot of space, but it's just a little bit of extra for stuff you might not need every day. This is a big friggin' piece of wood. So we're leaving a quarter inch gap since it's gonna lift. We wanna make sure that uh, it has space to do so. We gotta cut a little bit more off of this side. I can do the whole line from here if you want. You can? Yes. From the bottom? You're gonna crawl down there? Dang, dog. Man, now that we got these drawers in here, I'm stuck. Two down. The last piece of the puzzle. Like a blanket. That really makes a difference. Yeah. All right, let's take it all out and polycrylic it so we can put those hinges on. All right, so while those dry, we are going to screw in our two face plates. And of course, it's starting to rain, so our timeline just shrunk even more. Got a little spacer action going on the floor. Luckily, we made these drawers taller, so a little clamp works to hold it down. What the? <laughs> Hi, Jason. Jason? Somebody's working here. <laughs> One down, one to go. Line them up over here. The last screw on the drawer face plates, how does that make you feel? Great. Freaking perfect, dang. Those are looking sweet. And they also are officially 
our last drawers and cabinets in the van. The wood should be dry, it's hinge time, and then time to throw the mattress on here and uh, show you guys what we're working with. Watch your head. Watch your head, because we don't have a bed. So you'll walk and hit your head. <laughs> this rain is really putting a damper on things. Ouch, I hit my head again. That's probably like the fifth time this episode. What is he that? Figuring out hinges. We're not really sure if this method is gonna work or not, but. Give me the other drill so I can pre-drill some of these. I'm the weight. Ah, <laughs> uh, ha, 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 ha. That's fine. The mattress, you're only open this thing this much. That's fine. You're, are you the Hulk? Do you remember how heavy these things are to lift up anyway? Number two. I'm out here living life. It just stopped raining, so I think it might be enough for us to finish up. Now, let's see if it opens. This one's a little tight. Hup. Oh my goodness. Like a dream. We should have just made one big one that fit here. And these could have been fixed. I literally told you to do to the center and you said, No, I want to have us my own separate drawer. So now yeah. you can get this one over here and you could struggle to lift it up. Last one, big boy. The big honka tonka. Big boy. This is one big piece of wood here, folks. <laughs> Jason says I don't do anything. I'm holding all the weight over here. I think, come over here. I'm right here. Come here. Take right. the camera the other way. Yeah, but then you're gonna see my double chin. <laughs> I think it's time for the mattress, but it's started to rain again, so. I think we have to do that in the morning. What do you think? I think we should do it right now. We're just too excited to wait, right Jason? Yeah. The rain is on and off, but right now it's off, so we're just gonna go through because the last part of this bedding is to get a mattress in here and feel comfortable, you know? So that leads us to this episode's sponsor. Finally, it is mattress time. This episode is sponsored by Layla Sleep. You might not think that a mattress is too important in a van, but take it from people who know, it is more important than you think. Yes, most of the time you're gonna be out exploring and traveling, but when you've been on a long hike or you've been out exploring the town all day the last thing you want to do is get back to a mattress that is uncomfortable and you try to go to sleep and you're just tossing and turning all night long i'm getting old you know i started having hip problems we had my back was hurting yeah we went with the memory foam mattress for a couple different reasons one being that it is the lower profile version of their mattresses another is that their memory foam is copper gel infused which helps with cooling the mattress is flippable i've never seen this before it has a soft side and a firm side so you can kind of test out both and see which one works best for you, how the memory foam conforms to your body, all that kind of stuff. Check out their website, laylasleep.com. You'll see all their different mattress options. They do have all different sizes available. You'll see that they have comforter sets, pillow sets. Are, are you ready to unbox this mattress in a box? Let's do it. I want to see how it uh, unfolds. It's so tiny. I thought it was going to be way bigger. Oh, I love this. What, the diamonds? The design, yeah. I like it. Bring this whole roll into the van, right? It's like a big burrito. <laughs> the gray scheme of the mattress matches the matches the van. Here goes nothing. Watch it roll up. <laughs> Let me catch you if your hands up. Uh oh. I think I think we got a we got a hole. Yeah, leak. Is it in position? Comfy, I'll tell you that much. I don't think I've ever had a memory foam mattress. I am loving the feel of this mattress. I am gonna sleep so much better. Jason just found a goodie all the way at the bottom of the bag. The box. The bottom of the box. Since we'll be spending every night with you, let's get to know each other. Uh-oh. What do we got? A shirt. Hey! Here's a few things to help you sleep at night. Oh, drawstring. Draw oh, I like this material, nice. Own the day. Wake up, hey! We'll be wearing that shirt. Man, this, Jason, pop your head up. <laughs> we are almost ready to go on vacation. What do you think? I can't wait. Oh my goodness, we're so close. And I love the design of this bed. Like, I think maybe we're gonna have to cut a hole in the uh, comforter just so you can see the cool, the cool pattern that it has. It's super sick and it feels awesome. I definitely think we gotta stick with the firm side, but we'll, we'll try out both. We'll test them and see which one, uh, which one we like better. It lets you know here so you can know. Like sleeping on a cloud, man. Jason, we're gonna sleep so good. I'm excited. I'm 
I mean, I guess that's it for this week's episode because we've got ourselves a bed. We have our under uh, cabinet storage. We have these drawers right here. We finally got the big window. So next week we're doing bench. We're, we're next week we're giving you the ultimate, uh, the ultimate living area expansion with a benchy worky station and a lookout window. I don't know. It's going to be great. You're going to want to make sure you're here for it. Hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on for new van build videos every single Sunday. We only got a couple days left. This was what, 25 and a half? I don't know. 25 and a half, I think. So we got four and a half days left. We got a lot to do, but we are going to put the pedal to the metal and get this build done in 30 days. Thank you so much to our friends over at Layla Sleep for sponsoring this video. We are super excited to be trying out this mattress and seeing where it takes us and all the journeys that it gets us through. Comfortable is key when living in the van, people. So check them out. That is gonna be it for this episode. I think I'm probably gonna take a nap real quick, but uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Later. Next time on the 30 Day Van Build. This is the good life.